Well, Grace, good morning. And it's good to see you again. Um, I just found out in the past week that uh, the call has been made for Detroit Summer 2012. And there are a lot of people asking, what is the mission of Detroit Summer? Of, of 2012 or of uh, Detroit Summer 1992? Well, you make the comparison for us. Well, uh, the statement I think is on that says, come to Detroit July 1st to 15th, 2012. Experience the next American Revolution. Engage in visionary organizing. I think the opportunity for people to experience revolution as ongoing activity and as visionary organizing is really the purpose of Detroit Summer 2002-2012. One of the big events is going to be Emmanuel Pratt. Do you know Emmanuel? Yes, I do. You know, his, uh, his project has been reported in the Harvard Business Review. And I think that the whole business of, of raising fish in abandoned factories by using the liquid from plants growing is just the most amazing thing. He was here uh, last week. And he's, he's an incredible I mean he's he's very, very creative. He's a very good filmmaker also. And he has what he has done, I think, is shown actually shows how education can be engage people in a productive way and that's going to be one of the features of uh, uh, Detroit summer 2012 don't you think that that character uh, assessment that you've just made of Emmanuel probably holds true for so many of the young people that have been involved in the experience of Detroit summer here in Detroit and have emerged as, as some of the most dynamic young people leaders that we have in the city. What do you think their success is based on? Well, I think that's true. I think that the, the visionary organizing that I am most proud of is the founding of Detroit summer in 92, which changed the concept of young people as a problem from that of a problem to that of a solution, that they are the ones who can begin rebuilding, redefining, and respiriting the city from the ground up. I think that that change, that reversal, of the image of children, of young people, from problem to solution is probably the most important thing that we've been able to do in terms of education and in terms of changing image. There are people all over the country right now who want to come to Detroit for uh, Detroit Summer 2012. And they would like to know what, what result are you hoping for behind this call? What I'm hoping is that folks will leave here and go back to their own communities and do visionary organizing. 
I think that the, unless you experience it, it's very difficult to recognize because the image of revolution as assault on the state and as protests is so much a part of the culture. And I think that the, this opportunity to experience, experience the revolution in the making is going to change people's views and, and, and activities. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Grace. This has been an honor for me. And I will make sure that you, of course, get a copy of this before we, before I print it. But thank you very much. And, you know, I'll see you there. I'll be there for Detroit Summer.